So BT are moving all their residential customers to EE as they are focusing on their business customers. So we have moved over to EE 900 down on 110 up, same as BT. Still the same FTTP included in the package. We got the new EE Smart Hub Plus, which is Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 is better at managing network traffic. So this router will be better than BT's Wi-Fi 5 router. Let's take a closer look. Smart Hub Plus there. This bit at the back here is interesting. This router is made from 95% recycled plastic. The box is recyclable as well, which is good. So we have a QR code there. You can download the app to get started. It doesn't say, but I believe this Ethernet cable is CAT6 because EE have started to offer 1.6 CAT5E what come with the BT router. Can't handle over a gig. That's the power brick. Barrel type. It's decent length that as well, the cable. I like that. The last thing we have the router, nothing else. That's all recyclable that. So that will light up the EE logo. So I have some information on this sent over very kindly by Ollie, an EE employee. He sent it to my email. I'll put the specs up now. We have a WPS button on this side. At the bottom, we have an information sticker and we've got two rubber pads there. At the back and at the top, it has plenty of airflow. This does feel slightly heavier than the BT router. Settings card there. If you remove that, you'll have your Wi-Fi password and your hub admin details in there as well if you want to log into the hub. The back here we have reset, power on off, power supply port, USB 3.0, that's the internet port. You'd connect one end of this ethernet cable to that and the other end of this ethernet cable to the little ONT box on your wall. That's 2.5 gigabit. We have four gigabit ethernet ports Telephone, if you take telephone with them, I didn't take telephone. I just got the 900 down and 110 up for £44.99 and I have some mobile contracts with them as well. Broadband port. So if you don't have FTTP, you have FTTC fibre to the cabinet, you'll be using that port. But Okay, I thought before connecting the EE router, let's get a speed reading with the BT router, which is Wi-Fi 5. I'm using my iPhone 15, which is Wi-Fi 6. My router is in the hallway, centre of the house. I'm in my living room. There's only a door and one wall between us. Right, I've set the EE router up. I'm standing it in exactly the same place as before in my front room. There's only a door and a wall in between us. The router is in exactly the same place as the BT. As you can see, this is performing a lot better because it's Wi-Fi 6, the device and the router. And as mentioned before, Wi-Fi 6 is better at managing network traffic.
This is a speed test using a CAT6 cable. One end of the cable was plugged into the back of the router, the one gig port, and the other end of the cable was connected to my computer. Okay, when you first get this router, it'll be set on performance mode. And as mentioned here, what performance mode does, and then if you are having any issues with your devices, if you have, say, older devices, put it on compatibility. And if you're still having issues, then select Wi-Fi 5, which sort of defeats the purpose. I would recommend Ring EE Tech Support up then. Apologies, I am unable to show you the web interface because I just can't log in. It's packed in for some reason. So before I give you my overall thoughts on the EE router, I should quickly mention the speeds that I am getting, they are in my home, in my environment. Your outcome will be different to mine. If you are using an EE router, let me know in the comment section below what you think or even if you're using a BT router. I have also reviewed other mesh systems and routers. I use my own system. If you want to watch them reviews, leave a link in the description box below and I will also pin it in the comment section below if you're interested in watching them reviews. Okay, so in my opinion, if you get offered the EE router, should you accept it? Absolutely not. This router is not ready yet. I have had loads of issues with this. When I connected it up first, I only used it for a week because the Wi-Fi kept disconnecting. I rang EE up and they answered were to sell me Wi-Fi boosters and I said that's not the problem I'm having because if the router is disconnecting what will the booster do and the lady said well that's all we can offer so I said okay fair enough I took this off I put my own router back on then two weeks ago I've connected this up again I thought let's give it another go they might have pushed a new firmware out which they haven't so same thing was happening now what's happened is I'm connected to my PC I'm unable to log into the router page so I can't get into the interface there isn't much you can do on there anyway but I just wanted to show you the performance mode and just have a quick look around I'm unable to do that so I had a engineer visit yesterday he said what's the issue and I explained to him I said look in my opinion I think this needs a good firmware update but there isn't anything out so he checked and stuff and he agreed with me he said yeah you're right I asked him I said do you have the BT router with you and he said yeah I do but I'm hesitating to give you it because that will be classed as a downgrade I said look I'm fine with that I only want it as a backup anyway because uh, I'm going to use my own system and in case there's something wrong with my own mesh system I use the Asus XT12 if something goes wrong with that then I'll need a backup so I could use your router and plus it's good to have the router because when they do tests and stuff they can't do it if you're using your own router they say we're limited you will need to have their router plugged in so he, he was like saying i don't know i don't i said okay fine i'll ring them up and i'll see what they give so i, I rang ee up this morning and I, and I told them what had happened and i said can you send me a new router up please and they said yeah and i asked him could you send the bt one up please and they said no we can only send you the new ee smart hub plus i think they've just pushed this router out quickly because bt wanted to merge it EE with BT. Obviously EE has become the main household broadband seller. Another thing about EE, the customer service isn't as good, even BT as well. Open reach line itself, that's solid. I've had no issues with that. When I was using my own router, I had no issues at all. It's this router. So if you are thinking of upgrading, I'd wait for a bit. If you do have your own system, then yeah, you can upgrade and keep this as a backup. So that's my opinion. Let us know in the comment section below what you think of the EE router if you're using it or even if you're using the BT1. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If it was, please leave a like and please subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.